even I say to myself, you're a freaking genius. <laughs> hey, look, I had an uncle, my father's brother, who's the longest serving president, not, he's the longest serving professor in the history of MIT. He graduated, he was a phenomenal student, a real genius, really brilliant guy. And you know, I believe in the resource theory. Fast horses produce fast horses. Doctor, very talented doctor too. You know, he's got a lot of things on his resume. He was a great doctor. He was a great admiral. And now he's a great congressman. And before I introduce him, I just want to say, when he was the doctor at the White House, they asked him, who's healthier? Who's a better physical specimen? Is it Trump? Or is it Obama? And he said, it's not even close. It's Donald Trump, not even close. I said, I love this guy. I do like junk food. Who doesn't? Yeah, I mean, same. I guess I agree with him for once. Uh, the idea that he's in better physical shape than Barack Obama is just mind blowing. Like, literally, I, we're not gonna, we're not going to pretend that it's a conversation. We're not going to debate it. But I love the stuff about the race horses, fast horses, produce fast horses. He's your uncle. He didn't produce you. Or did he? What are you implying, Donald Trump, about that? But also, I love that he's the the longest serving president, president, pre, pre, professor of MIT. So is being a professor. At a great college, good now. Is academia awesome? Is MIT cool? Do you like academics? Because I thought that that was a bad suspect thing. They're all groomers and you know the kids shouldn't even go to college, which is it? Because it, apparently the fact that someone else had academic and intellectual achievements proves that you're a genius or something. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, Francesca, what do you think? You no, know, he, oh man, he, he is so old. My God, these two men are old, but Trump there. Like, there's been a lot of other moments, John, and, you know, there's sort of like a contest of whose brain is melted and in which, which way, but he's mm -hmm. just tired and old. He's got so many cases in front of him. He's sitting in court all the time. Like, the guy cannot do this anymore, right? Why is he doing it? Why, Why is, is he, he doing still it? doing it? Like, everyone knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xenophobia and tax breaks. Just call it, just, just wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't like, need tax cuts. He will, if he spent $10 million a day, he would not run out of money before he finally croaked. You don't need any more money, man. It's well, not no, gonna save other, you. No, exactly, exactly. It's just, it's just, just. I just don't understand that. Just, I don't. just go to Russia already, man. Just flight, go. Be the yeah. Hannibal Lecter that you thought it is an amazing guy. Have a friend Francesca, for dinner. If I had two billion dollars, do you know what I would do with that money? Yeah, f off into the night. We, it, well, a good point. Okay, you wouldn't know specifically, and you never would know specifically because you'd never see me again. Okay, that's not actually true. I'd probably start a media company or something. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, you'd um, run for office, <laughs> probably. Like honestly, a loser, but like a loser, and probably lose anyway. But um, yeah, no, I would not do this. This is this isn't great. This isn't great.